Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about Oluprokun Pocket games for the GBA. Oluprokun Pocket 1 and 2 might look cute but are actually quite tough. The AI has many tricks up its sleeve and shuffles them so that you can really predict the ball when batting. The controls are ok so the toughness of the game comes from not knowing where the ball is going to land. Not because of the game mechanics, which are good by the way. The two games have a story each. You can do transfers, create your own players and upgrade them, there are also mini games. The games are amazing if you know Japanese. Power Procon Pocket 3 has the same gameplay and game formula, but what everyone loved about it was the story. It was denser and funnier than in all of the trilogy. I won't tell you much, but your main character is a cyborg and someone gets run over by a car. There are more mini games to unlock than in the first games and even if all of the gameplay is the same, it's definitely worth playing. Power Procon Pocket 4 has a new story. This is the biggest selling point for the franchise by the way, the story. I mean, the baseball part is good too, but when you get to experience the story, it's something else. Also the gameplay formula is great too, I mean you can create your own players, play mini games, the baseball itself is really good. An improvement in 4 is that you can create more players. And this is valid for the other games too, 5, 6 and 7. People enjoyed it more as an RPG than for the fact that it's a baseball game. The many mini games, especially the stories in each game, made it a success. Also in Power Pro 5, the difficulty has been reduced. 6 and 7 have the same difficulty as the other ones, so they are more tough. Only 5 is easier, so if you seek a slightly easier Power Pro Kun game, Try the fifth one. But you should try out all of them because all of them are amazing.